what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and also welcome to tuscora park we're over here in new philadelphia today to do a little magnet fishing that's right magnet fishing in the park i called and got permission to magnet fish they do have regular fishing in here as well but i was told to go ahead and uh check it out and see if there was any metal that may have been thrown in the water by uh patrons of the park check out those canadian geese going nuts down there so we're going to see if we can get anything today and later on we might even have to go explore this park because check it out we've got a ferris wheel in the distance and what looks like a marriage around so stay tuned let's get the, all hooked up we're up here on a little dock area and we're going to go ahead and set the magnet up and get tossing all right, you guys, and my first uh, couple throws were duds. It's uh, surprisingly really rocky. I guess, you know, they put those rocks here, but I don't know how far they extend out. So it's been a little rocky the first couple throws, but got the old Duracell. Not sure we're going to be charging anything with that. My very next throw, you guys. We've got some fishing lures now. A lot of people do come out here and fish, so this might be a pretty productive day for lures. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is called. I'm not much of a real fisherman, so I do the uh, the magnet fishing. But check it out. It's got that metal head right there on it. And we got the hooks. So if you're into fishing, tell me, are these hooks pretty good? Do they need replaced? What's the worth of these guys? Pretty awesome. We're just perched, poached right up here on the, uh, the old dock here. As always, using my small 360 magnet. So, you know, if you're in the market, get yourself a 360. I was a uh, frugal, or I guess the better word for it is cheap, guy and got a cheapy magnet at first. And it's just no way to go. All right, you guys. Uh, all we found here was a couple lures and a battery which i'll pick up here and get going what we're gonna do now is uh this spot here i'm trying not to get a hook in the hand we're just gonna try to find a spot somewhere else here probably over in that little dock area now that people are kind of leaving we've got some people fishing to my left and some kids fishing over there so i don't want to get in their way and ruin their good time so we're going to try to find a clear space over there and see what we can do or maybe you see those set of stairs right there somewhere over there all right guys so we're at this gazebo and i've been met with a sign that says no fishing from the gazebo and over there where i was looking at with the rails it's like super rocky and there's like concrete slabs out in the water so i'm not sure if that's going to be the best option and also this part of the boardwalk says no fishing from the boardwalk which is a total bummer because i was uh looking forward to that there's the boardwalk we just came from it didn't have that sign, so as far as I know, I was following the rules of the house here, but what a bummer because I know there are people who were fishing on here earlier, but I'm, I'm not going to break the rules and, you know, jeopardize the fun for anybody. And plus, I'd like to come back here eventually and try to find a spot to uh, magnet fish. So with that... Oh, it's such a bummer because this looks like there's probably lures. Heck, there's a stick right there. There's probably lures because you know there's been other people who have broken the rules. I'd love to catch their uh, their stuff. But since I did call and get permission, I think we're just going to go down there where those Canadian geese are and uh, try not to get squared up with those, but just throw our magnet right there. All right, guys, I might be walking into a... Uh, a serious threat here. These guys might run me down. We've got the cool, calm white ducks chilling. We've got some other ducks in here, but I've seen some Canadian geese in the mix, and those are the ones you do not want to mess with. What's up, guys? How's it going? Just here to hang out. Just here to hang out. How you guys doing today? Yep, hey, I come in peace. Don't want any trouble. Definitely don't want in trouble with you hissing geese. I've run into too many of those. How's it going, guys? <laughs> so cute. I think they're telling me uh, go away, though. So uh, right now we're just down here a little ways from where we were. 
and I'm going to uh, make sure these guys don't get in the way, but I'm going to toss the old magnet over here this way. We'll see what we can get. Check it out, you guys. I just noticed there's some duck eggs over here, too. So I'm going to shift down because I don't want to mess nothing up with my magnet for them. We're going to go down this way. Well, there's some people feeding ducks now. Oh, goodness. I think we'll just shift down a little bit to the uh, right here and we'll see what we can get into. First toss out. Got a little, uh, little clip there, a little something. Not sure what that's from, but uh, I'm trying to chuck it out here as far as I can. See if we get any lures or something, but uh, there you go, guys. Man, it's such a bummer. I can't get over there, though, but rolls are rolls. Just not one to break them <laughs> as much as I want to, guys. I plan on showing Tuscore this video, too, so, you know, if you're out there watching Tuscore, uh, you have a beautiful park, a beautiful pond, and I look forward to exploring it after I'm done magnet fishing here. But uh, I would really love to magnet fish right here because we've got, obviously, somebody fishing when they're not supposed to. So I would like to go collect those lures. Well, guys, I just tossed it in here, and I got a couple hooks back. I've been out here for a little while just chucking it, and I'm just not finding anything. Nothing against the place, obviously. I was just hoping to find more lures and you know stuff like that I found a few things but uh, uh as far as uh anything big i do think that there's stuff out there but every time i get closer you'll notice that these rocks they're going all the way out to like you know there from here and i feel like i'm seeing the bubbles and i feel like um uh, i'm getting stuff that those bubbles could be generated from that down there though but uh I feel like I am pulling on something, but it just keeps getting snagged on the rocks, but it could just be me literally just going over rock after rock. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and we're gonna go ahead and explore the park. I will so, uh, show you guys just down the way. They've got some tennis courts for the local school. Uh, we're in New Philadelphia, so you got the cool football field down there. But what I'm most interested in showing you guys is the cool looking carnival equipment here. So uh, we're going to make a day out of it still, but the magnet fishing is not what I was hoping it would be. Bro, look at this redheaded one, man. This is top dog of the bunch. Huh. It's crazy cool. <laughs> he's got the big red head. He don't want none of me. Oh, he's fighting with the white ducks. Oh, man, world star, world star. <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> Oh no, he's looking, he's looking back at me, isn't he? Nope. Alright, we're out of here. I ain't trying to rumble. Alright guys, we got the uh, youth center. Park Place Youth Center. But what I'm impressed with is, check out all this uh, landscape. Got shelter houses up there. Like some little walking paths, the grills, a little sitting area. We're going to have to go check all this out, but I'm wanting to go check out the carnival ride situation down here and then we'll just make our way back along the trail now it does look like everything is closed because it is getting colder so we've got like concession stands right here but everything seems to be shut down it must just be that time because it is starting to get a little chillier so yeah pretty cool though at least we get to kind of get some exercise in walk around oh yeah there's like a pool over there but it's completely drained all right let's hit it so it's all closed up you guys but check it out inside here during the regular season they've got uh a merry-go-round in here again we're in new philadelphia so look it up look up tuscora park you and your family can come on out and it's basically like having a carnival all the time What's it say here? Yeah, Carousel Park rules. You get ride tickets just like you would at a fair or carnival. You guys can pause the video if you want to check that stuff out. But we're closed down for the uh, fall winter now. What's it say? All right. David Miller. Dave Miller. Cherish memories for families as operator of the Tuscarora Park Carousel. Awesome. 
Check out this guy, man, looking all cool. Got the, some people in the back there riding the ride. The National Carousel Association Historical Carousel Award presented the Tuscola Park, 2015. Awesome. So again, we've got a pool, but it's empty over here, guys. But what I think is really neat is they've got, well, you've got this Ferris wheel in the background, which we'll get a closer look at that. Some cars, another little ride. Looks like it's been taken apart for now. But the Tuscore Park Rotary Railroad. That's right. They've got their own freaking train ride, guys. It's all locked up for now, but you can see the track. You can see where it kind of goes all the way around. There's even like, let me zoom in for you guys right here. There's even a little steep part of the track where it goes up and down like a roller coaster. That is so freaking cool, guys. Let me zoom back out. <laughs> so this is not a bad day. I mean, with magnet fishing aside, we're doing some really cool park exploring. And for admission, single ride, buck 50. You put that up next to like a Disney, Kings Island, Cedar Point, even like county fairs or more than that. 12 rides for 10 bucks. Oh, and that's a putt-putt course on the back. Okay, that's cool. Per game, four bucks. That's ride tickets not accepted. Okay, novelty golf ball, eight dollars. That's fun. That's really cool, you guys. Cheap, too. I mean, that's a bargain. Not sponsored by this park in any means. Just impressed with the pricing. Wonder what the concession food is like, too. Check out the sweet cars. I mean, you got your pick. Old-timey car, old-timey car. Uh, Six-wheel car? Yeah, because, I mean, we, got, we definitely need a couple of those. Freaking awesome. Oh, I'm about to fall. You may have heard in other videos that I'm a klutzy individual. So we've got the cool stop sign here with the signal. So you're telling me it goes all the way through, through this garage area, which I wonder what's in there, and then goes all the way through. And there's the putt-putt course, because there's some of the extra clubs. Unreal. But look at this monster behind me. A park, a city park with its own Ferris wheel. Unbelievable, you guys. Now, I'm not much for heights, but since they're caged in like that, I would do it. But I don't know... If adults can ride this, I'm assuming they can because, you know, little kids get a little nervous. But, yeah, really cool. Dude, they've got the freaking swings over here. Like, I've never been to a park that has its own carnival when it's in season. So, like, not only can you play on just some normal equipment, like, check it out, you guys. I'll try to pan slowly here. We've got the actual equipment and a cool looking train jungle gym thing. But then we've also got all of these wicked sweet carnival rides. Wicked sweet. I never say the word wicked. Why in the world did I just do that? <laughs> I'm from Ohio. I'm not from New England. So it looks like they've got some seating over here. We're going to have to go check out what's going on over here. The RTY Summer Showcase. Tons of concerts. Oh, it's an amphitheater, you guys. Let's go up here and see what's going on. We got all these seats. So you can pop a squat. No way. They've got their own full-on stage. Incredible. Incredible. Down the way, you got the football field. I'm going to pop up on stage. It's time for me to do my one-man show. 
Wow. Wonder what's in there. So imagine you are just hanging out on a nice, like Saturday or Sunday or whatever, you know? You looking for something to do? It looks like they do free concerts here in the park. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a cool place. I came here to Magnet Fish. And I'm being blown away by everything else that they've got. Tons and tons of amenities. So I'm like not even upset that all I caught was a few lures. This is awesome. I mean, look at all the, the land here. There's where we just came from. We got stuff falling out of the trees. Whoa, we got stuff hitting. The squirrels attacking, what do they got going on? <laughs> Well, I'm trying my best also, you'll notice in my videos, is I try not to put any kids in my videos. No faces uh, for, I feel like it should be an obvious reason, you know. But if an adult wanted to be in the video, cool. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, what, that's what's falling out of the trees, you guys. Look at all these acorns. Jeez. Oh, wow, they're falling out like left and right. I feel like I'm about to get pelted. But again, guys, yeah, like if an adult wanted to be in the video, like I talk to them, cool. But I try not to show anybody's face. And I try not to show mine, you know. But uh, you'll get it from time to time. You'll see my ugly mug. <laughs> but what a cool park, am I right? Look at this jungle gym. It's freaking awesome. And all these shelter houses. Plenty of trash cans, that's good. So you can come out here and have yourself a, like a really good time with the family. You can grill, it looks like. And you can even get plenty of exercise. I mean, I'm doing a lot of walking right now and I'm not even up on the upper level, but you can go up, you can go down. There's just opportunity after opportunity. Now, this wasn't like any type of a uh, park review or anything like that, but if it was, I mean, how many parks do you know that have its own carnival built in? Maybe I'm just a sheltered guy, but I feel like I'm not, and I'm getting hit with these acorns. <laughs> so, you know, but I give it 10 out of 10 easily just because they have freaking fair rides, you know? But before we get out of here, for this video, which it might be end up being a, a little bit of a short and sweet video. We're gonna check and see what's going on up here because I feel like there's something pretty cool over here, maybe. There's a water fountain, a couple water fountains. Well, it's dried out for the moment, but uh, must be like a little pond area dedicated it's really cool oh yeah fountain this fountain and pond has been provided by his friends and family r.i.p larry you got some good friends and family man so look up tuscora park in new philadelphia ohio and come out here sometimes support this local community i mean it's just awesome it's a relaxing day not many people here right now. It is the weekend, so when you're watching this video, it is uh, actually a Sunday. Filmed on a Sunday, probably put up on a Saturday. The following week, it takes me a little bit to get things edited up, up for you guys, but awesome, awesome time. I really can't complain even though nothing's open. It doesn't matter so much just to just sit back and look at, walk, look at. Or just chill out by the, the pond. I just, uh, yeah, had no idea what I was going to get myself into other than some attempted magnet fishing today. But I got to say that I'm really impressed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head out for the day here, you guys. If you're uh, here for the first time, thank you for checking out the channel. I encourage you guys to like, comment, tell me what you like about it, what I could improve on, things like that. You know, a little criticism doesn't hurt. Don't troll me, please. 
and we're uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and comment like share subscribe we're just cr cruising in with this little hobby of content making and it's been fun so i'll catch you guys on the next one